Take your proposals to the next level by adding customizable cover pages. Let's head to a job and check it out. In the budget tab, you'll see that I have already estimated the cost and price of the job. So now I'm ready to create and send a proposal to my customer. So let's start by clicking on the plus document button at the top, and then I'll select the document template that I'd like to use. We'll choose our proposal template. Next, we'll choose which budget items we'd like to include on the document. We'll leave all of these selected and click Create. Now we have our basic proposal document, which we can edit as needed. To enhance the presentation of the document, we will use the design settings, which are accessed by clicking on the design tab on our document settings. And then next, we can add a cover page. Choose from four designs. Let's select the first one to start. The designs will automatically appear with your company colors. Also, by default, the job cover photo will be inserted into the cover page design. However, you can upload an alternative cover photo just for this document. So let's upload a new one here. Now this is starting to look great. Let's now adjust the header, which defaults to your job name. Okay, and then let's adjust the subheader, which is defaulted to your document number. Now your document details will be included next. I'm going to drop in some nice, engaging text here. Then you have the ability to adjust the prepared by and prepared for details. Now that we've edited all of our details, let's see what the cover page could look like with the other designs. Okay, this one looks pretty nice, actually. Let's try the next one, though. Looks pretty good to me. Huh, okay, and maybe the next one. Okay, cool. Well, I think I still like the first one best for this proposal. Now, if you scroll down, notice that the job tread proposal document is shown right after the cover page. Now, some of you may also have some additional pages that you'd like to include to generate an entire proposal package. Well, we can design those pages in another system like Google Docs, Canva, InDesign, or something else. And then as long as I save them as a PDF file, I can easily insert them before or after the job tread document section. So let's add a few pages in the header section by uploading them right here. Now these could be like your company information, maybe design renderings. In either case, you can add one or multiple PDF pages. Now the first page will be shown in the design settings on the right. However, a list of all the other pages will appear above the document. Now we keep those pages small in your view so that you can easily navigate through your document and edit things as needed while it's in draft mode. However, once you send the document to your recipient, they will see these pages full on in line with the rest of the document. We'll see a preview of that shortly. Now you also have the option to insert PDF pages into the footer at the end of the document. So I'm gonna upload a final page here. And then once we're ready, we're going to send it off. All right, you'll choose your recipients, choose if you want a signature or not, and then you'll go ahead and hit send. And then this gives us the chance to preview the document from their point of view. Great. Now here's a quick note. You may choose not to use the job tread cover page template, and maybe you'd rather use a cover page that you designed yourself. Well, in that case, while you're in draft mode of the document, you can skip the option to select a cover page template and simply upload a PDF cover page of your choice as the header. To save time in the long run, you can set up your design preferences in document templates. Just head to your job tread settings and then click on the document templates tab. Let's open our proposal template and then we can choose our cover page in the design tab as well as specify our design preferences. These settings will apply to all documents you create using this template and you can always override them for each document you create. So if we choose our design, we can then either upload a photo now, some people like to upload a photo of their team, or just a photo that's consistent for all their proposals, or we can leave the photo out, which will then default to the job cover photo, or you can upload a separate photo later when creating the document. 
It might also be helpful to specify a document title and subtitle here that will take the place of the job name and document number. And so this would be then consistent every single time you create this document. Well, have fun customizing your documents. And if you have any questions, please contact your success manager or email support at jobtread.com.